Okay, you've got everything plugged in. PC is up and running. Now we got to check out the controls. So let's go into settings. And let's go into gamepad tester. Now we're going to see a bunch of things that are wrong that we need to correct. So when I hit a button, we are A, B, start, coin, X, shifter of course. These top buttons are right bumper, left bumper, and Y. That's not what we want. We're going to want to change that because the top deck needs to move down. LB and RB needs to move here and coin and start up here and X over to here. We'll fix that in a minute. Our pedals are backwards. Our gas pedal is the brake and our brake is right stick. So there's two things wrong there. We need to change it to right trigger and we need to invert the pedals. And also they're not in calibration. I only have to push it a little ways and it's like I'm flooring it. So we're going to fix that as well. So let's start with inverting the pedals so that we get that right. You look at your cheat sheet cheat sheet dot buy stuff arcades dot com has all of these settings. We have to hold down start and B when we plug in the encoder board. So the easiest way to do this is unplug the USB from the PC, get someone to help you, unplug the USB, pull down the two buttons, start and B, which is what we need to do to switch the pedals, and then plug the USB back in. I'm going to simulate that with this little button so I can do it with one person. So I'm holding those two buttons down. I'm going to toggle it. You just heard one rumble. One rumble means that we are in the normal pedal mode. And so now when I hit the gas, it goes up and the brake is there. Now, another change we need to make is that the gas pedal needs to move to right trigger like the brake is on. Right stick was used in our gaming box. You're going to need to change that to right trigger. So, according to our cheat sheet, to switch right stick and right trigger modes, it is start and A. These two buttons. So I'm going to hold those two buttons, toggle, two rumbles, and now when I hold the pedal down, it is right trigger. Exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now, I want to calibrate the pedals, because they're not quite calibrated. It's always a good idea to calibrate the pedal. So, you hold down A and B and both pedals to the floor. Unplug and plug back in the USB encoder board. You hear two rumbles. And now our pedal, look at that, all the way to the bottom. Perfectly calibrated. Okay, we're almost done. Now we want to move these buttons to the top deck. To move the buttons to the top deck, we hold start and coin while we change the button load. So, coin is over here, start is here. I'm going to push my button. You're going to plug your USB back in. You heard two rumbles. And two rumbles means top deck mode. Single rumble means bottom deck mode. So, look at that. Coin. And start at the top and LB, RB, and X. Everything's moved to the top deck. So when you're changing these modes, it only takes a second when you first plug the USB back into the computer. If you're not hearing rumbles, just count one or two steamboats. That's all it needs. If you ever notice that the background has kind of frozen, there's no video going on, and the controls no longer work, that's 
why we have on our sticker here the item called focus. So just hit A, B, and coin like that. And there you go again. And now the controls work. So that's just a little quirky bug that we're still trying to figure out, but that's our best workaround for it. It doesn't happen very often, but if it does, that's how you fix it. If you ever want to find a particular game, there's a lot of games in this list. It takes a while to go through them. If you hit the X button, then you'll see a little alphabet come at the bottom of the screen, and you can quickly go to whichever letter you want and then scroll to the game you're looking for. If you have no idea what game you want, well, just hit the Y button, because then it's going to pick a random game. Great way to find out new games that uh, you've never heard of or never tried before. We also have a secondary volume control. Obviously the amp that's built in is a volume, but you can also use the X and volume control. So I'm going to turn it up and show you how that works. So X up will turn it quieter and X down on the shifter We'll make it louder again. Just a secondary way to use the volume control. And when you need to shut the PC down, just keep hitting the B button until you get to this menu and go to shut down and shut it down. So that's it for this video. Hope it helps get the buttons and things set up properly for your encoder board. If you have any issues, of course, reach out to us or check on our Facebook page.